Our first guest is a funny, cool lady. She's an actress, she's a comedian. Please welcome Sandra Bernhard. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You bring me up. Thank you. You take me to higher places. Thank you. When I'm feeling down, when I feel like I'm just about ready to give up yes. on life, I turn on Wendy Williams. I say, thank God, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> Wendy has taken me up. <laughs> life is hard out there. It is hard, you know, and we're blessed. But yep, you Hashtag blessed. Blessed. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's nice to have a job where you can bring people joy. Being a comedian must be the bee's knees. Well, it's the best. You make people laugh. Yeah. And you, you know, you inspire people. Yeah. And when you hit that stage, you want to just bring it. You right, know? Yeah. It's electric. So tell us about your tour. What's it called? Uh, San Sandy Land. Love it. <laughs> it's kind of like a ride through my world. Yes. And I take you there. I take you there musically. Comedically. Really? Yeah, you know, I have my band, the Flawless Zircons. Oh. I love that. Uh huh, yeah. Do you do wardrobe I don't, changes? I don't play with diamonds, honey. Only Zircons. Zircons. Because if they, if they get stolen, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> do you write your jokes and really? I write everything. And then I draw from life. Uh huh. My girlfriend, who I've been together with 14 years, is super funny. So we, we are always funny. And now, is she a comedian? No, she's a writer. Sarah is her name, Sarah, everybody. Yeah. But my daughter is now editing my shows. Really? Oh yeah, because I did this one piece about going to buy um, duck for Christmas. And it was like a long story. And I walked off stage, she goes, we've got to edit that piece. It's too long and it's not funny. <laughs> I was like, she busted me down. That's an old picture it's of my very child. Old. That's like pre, that's like around her bat mitzvah time. She's so much taller now. Yeah, is she's on the volleyball still... team, honey. I never thought my Jewish daughter would play volleyball. Volleyball. <laughs> um, spike it, babe. So, <laughs> so she's 15. She's 15. Do you talk to her about boys? No, we don't talk about boys. The kids really? don't talk that way anymore. They don't? First of all, I don't even know what she's talking about because she's texting. Do you ever run her phone when she goes to sleep? No, we don't do that. We have total faith in her. We lay down the ground rules. She's a New York City girl. She maneuvers the streets. Yeah. She keeps in touch with us. Uh -huh. She texts us and lets us know exactly where she is at all times. And we just have faith in her. You got to give the kids faith because if you don't... <laughs> yeah. They'll never find their footing. They'll always be off balance. But she doesn't have to know you're looking in her telephone. But I can't anyway. She's got her code. I can't. But you gonna, pay the bill. I'm not going to break the code. I can't break the code. I can teach you how. We have the code of honor. Because <laughs> uh, when he goes to bed, that's my job. Listen. Tip in his room. They're all going to have their moments. They're all going to yeah. do things that we don't want them to do. Yeah. I never did. I never smoked. I never drank. I never did drugs. I was just one of those kids. Aww. And I still haven't. <laughs> I haven't even had sex, so you know. No. <laughs> Did you um, have you read the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy? I've not I'm... read the Fifty Grades uh, Grades of Shade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but have you been following the drama with the movie? Well, yeah, I've heard about it because I follow you. Yo. So I know, well, I know the, the lead guy <laughs> fell out. The guy from uh, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. He dropped out. He got cold feet, honey, and everything shriveled up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he stepped in ice water. Did you know that um, Dakota, who's Melanie Griffin and yeah. Don Johnson, she's playing uh, Anastasia, yes, yes. the female lead, and uh, she allegedly has banned her mother from coming to the set. Well, would you want your mother to watch you have sex? I don't want my mother on the set, period. Like, no. Melanie, let your, let your girl fly. She's well, 26. Me, you know, Mel, I know Mel, we're friends. And, yeah. and Melanie is like, you know, she's worried about her daughter. It's Hollywood, you know? Yeah. She, and she, Melanie's been there. What? So, you know what I mean? She's afraid for her daughter. Gotcha. So you, your advice would be, stay on the set. Well, no, my advice would be let her do her thing. I mean, yeah. she is. She's a grown-up now. It's too late. You know, she, she let her kid get into show business. Yeah. I, I, I would stop the... Right from ever yeah. happening. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, uh, I read all three, and the, the sex was a bit ridiculous. Uh, what is it? What's it, what's it supposed to be? Please uh, walk bondage, me bondage, torture rooms, chambers. Oh, come the guy, uh, Who the... has time and who can afford it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? 
but I'm going to see that movie. <laughs> so back to the joke writing and being a comedian. Yeah. Uh, Roseanne, you remember Sandra was on Roseanne's show. The two have yes. been friends for years. Still in touch and love her dearly. I know that the, the, the um, what's his name ripped her off. Chuck Lorre. Yeah, because that joke, I went to see Roseanne about four From or five years ago. Men. Here's the joke. I'm dry in places where I used to be wet, and I'm wet in places where I used to be dry. <laughs> <laughs> and Chuck Lowry had that written into the show, yeah. and the line was delivered by Ashton Kutcher. Well, it's so funny because I wrote a line in my book, Love, Love, and Love, and the line was, love is the, most, love is the only shocking th act left on the face of the earth. And he, he read that line in um, Valentine Day, because that writer stole my line. So you all, as comedians, you don't take it as an homage. You get very offended when people well, steal your work. I mean, for me, it was a little different because it was in a movie yeah. and it was not a funny line. But for Roseanne, that was such a, that, you know, it was about menopause. Yeah. It was very specific and a brilliant line. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want my line to show up on some sitcom that a, that a man said. It doesn't even make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> Unless Ashton Kutcher's going through menopause. <laughs> <laughs> he might after the, everything he's been through. I don't know. Do you know Demi? I know, of course I know Demi. She's been having a hard time letting go. Well, you know, it ain't gonna happen again. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> Let's get real, you know what I mean? But we all knew, we, we all knew at some point a, a, a 24 year old boy is gonna wake up and say, hey, I want kids, I want a family. I've been trying to tell it's her that just, through the TV. No, 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 baby, it's just not. <laughs> yeah. You know, I used to see them at Kabbalah when I was still going. Uh -huh. And there was like a whole crazy thing, you know, Red Bull, coffee, everybody's jacked up, crazy. <laughs> Running on some sort of fumes, and you know, eventually when you come down off that, right. you're like, oh my God, I'm here, I'm in my living room, and I'm with this person. And my eggs are rotten, yeah. and he's gonna wanna have kids. Yeah, and that's, that's yeah. it, you know, you're out the door, and men can't be controlled. You, can't, you cannot hold a man back unless you kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, keep it here. Up next, we're gonna talk about Sandra's latest project which I can't believe an edgy girl like you has such a great project. Right. And I'm gonna ask her <laughs> about more of the latest hot topics because I like her opinion. Yeah. Next. They're, cute. <laughs> and, They're cute. And this is all before noon. They're cute. Oh, yeah. They're cute. My co-host. You're cute. Yeah. So, I like you. So we're back with Sandra Bernhard and she's got a new role on, uh, on television. Tell us all about it's Switched ABC at Birth. It's ABC Family Switched at Birth. Look at you on ABC Family. And if you ever would have asked me five years ago, two years ago, would I be on ABC Family? But it's very hip. They've written me on as an art instructor uh -huh. for which girl's bay? The dark or the light? The, light. the, the light. light hair girl. Okay, she's an artist on the show, right? She wants to be. Okay, I'm going to be her art instructor. Uh -huh. And they've written me on as, as this very hip, famous artist who's sort of like wants to like get away and just teach. So how does Cicely feel about that, your daughter? Oh, she doesn't watch ABC Family, honey. <laughs> We were, we were watching um, W last night, the film about George W. Bush. Oh, wow. And she was pulling it apart, anal analyzing the political ramifications oh. of George Bush's Oedipal complex. Oh. Oh, yeah, my no, mind, honey. I, I was like, she was blowing my mind last night. So, all right, this, this thing about Madonna being banned from a movie. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about that? Well, it's funny, because my girlfriend has friends who are, she used to work at Vanity Fair, have, have, has friends at Vanity Fair who were at the screening uh -huh. where she was texting during the movie. It was um, 12 years of slavery. Oh, wow. And I then, mean, you don't be texting during 12 years of slavery, honey. And it's a screening. This is a special... It was a special screening, a, you know, for a celebrity screening. Uh -huh. And I guess she snuck in and was, like, texting and doing work during the movie. And I don't want to, like, critique, because, honey, we have our, our old relationship. But I know that, that, you know, it can get crazy now. Yeah. What do you make of the gloves? Do you wear, do you wear the gloves? Are you conscious of your hands? You know what that no. is. I, in my mind, no. I'm thinking because she has wrinkly hands. So. Well, you know what? We got, we got it. <laughs> uh, honey, I get claustrophobic with gloves. It's like you have a dry winter foot. People say, oh, wear some lotion in the sock at night. I wake up, I'm like, ah! I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I've been thrown into prison. My feet are, I need freedom with my Free hands and my feet. <laughs> Take it as it is. They're a little wrinkly. I might put some Nivea on backstage. Hot Nivea. <laughs> that works. They got hot Nivea at Wendy for me, for my black ass. <laughs> <laughs> Keep clapping, everybody. This is our friend Sandra Bernhardt. 
And check out her in the show. Yes. Switched at Birth on ABC Family. Yes, I'll be coming up in January. And if you're in New York City, come see me at Joe's, Joe's Pub. Pub. Yes. December 26th, your New Year's Eve. She does that every year. Go to wendyshow.com for all Sandra's oh, tour my, dates. my whole life.